Okay. Annyeonghaseyo, Korea. I love you. So, hmm. Thoughts on joining? I think our roster is really good, and but it's like a really big difference between the roster and the team's history. Since the roster is good and we all have like pretty successful recent s seasons, but um, Team Liquid has had like tenth place seasons, so it's it's pretty bad. Um, but I expect the team to win. I don't really care about the name of the team, like or the history of the team as much as like what we can do in the future. So I joined the team to win NLCS. We will win NLCS this year. And um, I think initially we might have some problems because you know team synergy is a really big problem. Sometimes a team instantly is good, like Immortals. They uh, or season season six Immortals with like Cooney and Rainover. They they were so good right away. And um, sometimes it takes a long time, you know. Like when I was on TSM, we had a super team with Yellow Star, and the team was terrible. It was so bad. And then at the end of the season, we got second place, and we were still bad. So we we changed rosters. So it, sometimes it does take a while, and some changes. But um, I'm really confident we're gonna win. I I know we're all gonna work really hard. Um, it felt pretty bad actually to hear that rumor, um, but I understand why. Like. Esports rosters change a lot, so much. Uh, it's it's crazy, you know. Like SKT is the second best team in the world, and they change rosters. So <laughs> TSM being the twelfth best team in the world or sixteenth best team in the world makes sense. They're going to change their roster. Um, I feel like when you when you build a roster and you look at it from like non-player perspective, you want to have every position on the team makes sense like you want to have support in jungle leading the macro and so mid top and AD can focus on laning and focus on the small things so that's what TSM was trying to do there with the roster change I understand why um, it feels bad but it's fine I'm just gonna beat them and then <laughs> they're, they're just gonna feel like they wasted all this time and money so yeah, I'm actually really happy with the way things that turned out on Team Liquid. Really, um, we, our potential is really, really high, and I want to see where we can go. Well, I'm like fake Chinese actually, because I don't really speak Chinese. I speak Shanghainese, which is different than Mandarin, <laughs> so I can only really communicate in Shanghai. So my experience in China was kind of, it was so-so, it was okay, not good, not bad. Um, and how's my World Cup experience? Yeah, like, like World Cup experience. I mean, the whole, the whole boot camp felt really good, and I felt like we were improving a ton. And then we got to Worlds, and NA always has this super big problem in Worlds where we get really nervous. And um, so week one we did good, and then we didn't want to change anything from week one because we're like, why, why fix what's not broken? That's saying in English, like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Uh, so yeah, fuck. Every, every year this happens, by the way. Every year. NA in week two never changes their strategy from week one. That's the saddest thing ever. So my, my world experience was very sad. <laughs> Uh, okay, in NA, there's a famous streamer called Tyler One. He got perma banned. Uh, he's famous for saying <laughs> he's famous for typing. I'm gonna run it down mid, and um, so that's what Ole likes to do. He likes to run it down mid. <laughs> that's his favorite strategy. <clears throat> but actually, though, Ole is a really nice guy, really aggressive, sometimes too aggressive. Um, I hope we can. The thing is, like. For my support and AD duo, I always, I always want to do, to have my support think the same thing that I'm thinking at all times. We don't even have to communicate. If I go for a trade, he knows I'm going to go in for that trade before I before I do it. I don't have to think. I don't have to do anything. So that's a sort of st like synergy that I want to get to, where our communication is about the important things and not the small things, because the small things become uh, automatic. And 
Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to work on that this whole year with Ole. I think he's he's really good, and if we can have uh, like good ball lane synergy, we're going to be the best ball lane. Okay, my main quest is to win an ALCS, but my side quest is to uh, beat TSM so they don't make the finals. That'd be really fun. Um, and then another side quest would probably be... Hmm, another side quest? Actually, you know what? No, no, that's it. There's just those two things.